Hi everyone, it's Benitez here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's WTF episode, I'm going to share with you all how you can use HTML for a Teams meeting that you create and send from Microsoft Dataverse or Dynamics 365. The agenda today will be me doing a quick recap of what I showed you in a previous WTF episode. Then I'm going to explain what the issue is, followed by the demo. Previously, I showed you how you can create and send a Teams meeting invite from Microsoft Dataverse or Dynamics 365 using a Cloudflow. We were calling the Graph API so that we can create and send a Teams meeting invite based on the information in a Teams meeting activity record in Microsoft Dataverse or Dynamics 365. What I did show you in my last WTF episode was how you can insert line breaks from a multi-line text column for a Teams meeting. However, this is what it looks like in the model driven app. You can't um, insert, you know, like a hyperlink or bullet points. So how do we do that? Well, that's what I'm going to show you in this WTF episode today, because obviously when we use Microsoft Teams meeting or Outlook, and create a Teams meeting from there, we have the ability to apply rich text, so things like bold, using a hyperlink, but when we do it from the model-driven app, it's just going to display what is in that multi-line text column. So that's what I'm going to show you in this WTF episode. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the demo. In my Cloudflow, what is different from the last WTF episode is that I don't have a compose action anymore that utilizes a blank line. In my HTTP action, what I am doing is using a function called coalesce and I'm referencing the description column. So the coalesce function allows you to account for null values. So I talked about this in my last WTF episode. Whenever you use an expression for a column and if that column has a null value, it's going to result in an error in the cloud flow. So by using a coalesce for this particular property, which is the content property of the body for the HTTP request, it's not going to cause the Cloudflow to fall over because we're using the coalesce function. Now this will return the first non-null value. So in other words, it's going to return the description column if there is a value. Otherwise, if there is no value, it's going to treat it as null. So that's what my coalesce function is doing. And as I mentioned, we're referencing the description column. What I will show you next is the control that you can apply to the description column. So I'm in make.parapps.com. I have opened up the main form for my Teams meeting activity record. So this is what it looks like. And what I'm going to show you next is how to apply a control for that particular column. Now I'm going to switch from the modern experience to the classic editor. And that's because in the modern experience today, as of when this WTF episode is published, we can't configure the controls that are available for columns. Now, if you didn't know this already about Microsoft Dataverse, I will insert a documentation link that you can refer to in my blog post that will explain all the other controls that are available for the different column types. Now we're in the classic editor, so I'm going to select the description column. Click on this button up here called change properties. When this loads, we'll see a bunch of tabs up here and the one that I want to select is controls. Click add control. And if we scroll all the way down to the bottom, there's an option called Rich Text Editor Control. When I select this, it will show me what column types are applicable for this particular control. Since we are using a multi-line text column, this control is valid. So now when I click Add, I can then set it to Web. So this means that every time I use my model driven app and I create a Teams meeting activity, it'll display this rich text editor control. So now I can click on OK. I can hit save and then I can also publish the changes. So then that will display the rich text editor control for my description multi line column. And then we can simply just use the WYSIWYG editor 
and insert hyperlinks. We can do bullet points and that way we don't need to use HTML tags. So for those of you who are watching, if you don't know the HTML tags to apply in the description column, this control is perfect for you. Okay, let's head to my model driven app. Here's a Teams meeting activity record that I have already set up. What I'll do is insert a hyperlink. So I'm going to select the hyperlink icon from the WYSIWYG control, and then I'm going to give it a URL as a hyperlink. So I'm going to just use the documentation, click OK, and easy as that, I've inserted a hyperlink. As you can see, I've also inserted um, numbered bullet points and I've also formatted the text to be the font of Calibri and the size as 11. Now we're going to hit save and this will trigger my Cloudflow. Let's head back to Power Automate and check out the run history. Okay, so it successfully ran. Let's head over to Microsoft Teams and let's check out the Teams meeting invite. Perfect, as you can see that HTML has been applied. We can see that the font has been formatted to Calibri. When I click on the hyperlink, it should then pull up the documentation that, that I had provided as part of that hyperlink. So now it's showing me the coalesce documentation. So perfect. And then we can also see the numbered bullet points. Okay, so what I'll do next is create a blank one. So where the description doesn't have any values. And so that way you can see how the coalesce function works. Let's head back to Power Automate and check out the run history we can see that it's running, it's been triggered, and it has succeeded. Now let's head to Microsoft Teams and check that Teams meeting out. Ta-da! And just like that, we successfully created a Teams meeting invite using HTML through the rich text editor control for the description column. I hope you enjoyed this WTF episode. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment, and I will see you in the next one. Catch you later. Bye! Let's go.